Hello Kimmy Hinton, welcome back to another video. And today we got a brand new skin actually showing a lot of good stuff. Okay, uh, I feel that a lot of you guys that have been asking for certain things when it comes to uh, this specific game are going to be kind of pleasantly surprised. Now, I don't know Japanese, okay? But obviously the biggest thing here is the whole character creation being a confirmed thing on Shinobi Striker. Now, if you look at the scan on the top, on the top right, or almost in the middle, it says story. All right, I don't know what that means. I don't know if there's gonna be a story mode. Uh, I, I don't know. It, it looks like there might be something related to a story, and we also have a picture of Boruto being revealed. I'm assuming that he's confirmed now. And you know, you guys got two things that you really wanted. All right, like a lot of the fans have wanted the character creation. And a lot of the fans have been asking for Boruto characters to be revealed on these scans. Alright, because to be honest, I get you guys, Rock Lee, Hinata, uh, Chikamaru, and Choji, they weren't hype characters. You would expect them to be in the game. Uh, granted, I, I told people, listen, just wait, okay? They're not going to release the good shit right away because the game is still like a year away, if not more. So it, it's a matter of waiting and being patient. Now, here's the thing. I don't know any Japanese, like I said before, but I really want to talk about the character creation because it's one of the things that I'm both excited about and I'm also worried about. And here's what I mean. I'm excited for the character creation because if the roster size happens to be lackluster, at the very least, we have our own characters that we can make. All right. That's why I'm excited about it. It looks like you can do anything from picking accessories to changing the facial features to giving it clothes, you know, so on and so forth. Now, the one thing that I'm worried about is if they're going to take the Xenoverse route, meaning that they're going to allow you to mix and match any skill you want to your character. Uh, the one thing I'm worried about that for is because players online have a history of abusing shit. So I don't want to get people to have that power. I want them, if anything, if they're going to do this character creation, make it right. Okay, like, for example, give people some kind of creative freedom with the skills but not to the point where they can abuse shit. And if you do give them that kind of freedom, at least try to support the game uh, with enough updates, you know, frequent updates, so that way, you know, at the very least, you can find what to balance out, okay? And I'm not gonna make this video a negative video. I do really like this, okay? Um, I guess if the best way they could do it, I don't know if you guys would agree with me, I highly doubt you would, but I, I, I guess the best way they could do it is let people have a template when they create a character, meaning that they can pick from attack type to defense type to long range to healing. And basically all those templates have their own kind of skills. You don't get to pick any skills that you can combine together. Now, the reason why I'm supporting that idea is not because I don't want people to have creative freedom, but it's more like I said, because of balancing issues. A lot of people are bound to just use the most broken shit, abuse it and exploit it and just have people just not have fun. Okay. And if you guys know, Storm 4 died down pretty quickly because there were so many bugs, there were so many issues, and people were just exploiting them from left to right. And I don't want that to happen with this game. I really do want this game to have a really nice lifespan. I want it to have something that we can actually, you know, kind of sink our teeth to and play for a little while. You know what I'm saying? So, going back to Boruto, you guys finally have a Boruto character announced. Of course, the moles... The, I mean, I don't know. I, I would say he's the most notable character or the most... What's the word I'm looking for here? The most on the nose, I guess. The one that you would obviously think, hey, they're going to put him in the game because the game is called Naruto to Boruto. Now you guys don't have to worry about when they're going to announce Boruto characters. They already started with Boruto himself. And from what it looks like here, he's an attack type. Now this created character on the skin is an attack type as well. So I'm assuming that they're going to go with the route that I was talking about with the whole template, where you can only pick from the specific types that are available within the game itself, which I feel is a good idea. Now, like I said, the last thing I'm going to talk about here really quick, I'm going to re-mention it, it's the story thing. Like, it says story there, and it's bugging me out. I'm like, is there going to be a story mode or not? Because the game is marketed almost like an online exclusive kind of game. So if they do have a story, it'll be a kind of hey, it'll be kind of like a win for them to be honest, because a lot of people have been asking for the game to at least have some kind of single player content, because if the online turns out to be bad, at the very least they can play the single player. 
Uh, anyways, let me know specifically what you guys think about the character creation. Do you think it'll work properly? Do you guys think that they should take the Xenoverse route and give people more freedom with how uh, how they you know manage skills and whatnot? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'm out. Peace.